Hi, welcome to another video. This one's a quickie. Two digit seven segment displays. Although I have two stuck together. So two digits here, two digits here. How do you control them? Let me show you a quick drawing first. So this video is obviously for the newbies who know nothing about seven segment displays. There's one seven segment, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, second segment, and they are labeled like that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and decimal point. So that sounds straightforward enough. If I show you the digits I'm using, they're made by Everlight. There's the segment details. But look here, we've got two digits, so that should be 14 segments, and you know, two A's, two B's, two C's, but they're generally not wired like that. Have a look at the text over here. So this is a common anode. I'll show you the picture in a minute. So we've got E, G, anode for digit one, anode for digit two, that's where the power goes, cathode for decimal point one, cathode decimal point two, number seven, no pin, cathode A, D, B, C, F. How do you get two displays to work then when the cathodes for each segment are commoned up? That's the effective drawing. So you put power in to both segments, but then you've got common, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, decimal point. So using some resistors, I've got 150 ohm on five volts. Because these LEDs are being turned on and off, 150 ohms is actually too much. We could probably go to less than 100 ohms. So I've got these resistors wired to one port. So you put power into each segment and then control the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, just turn it to ground. If you turn the pin high, the segment hasn't got a ground, so it stays off. If they've got common power and the cathodes, like A is joined to that A, B is joined to that B, I'm going to have the same digit on each display. How do you solve that problem? Control this one first, then that one. Quickly. How quickly and how do you control them? That's how. You connect the power to two N-channel MOSFETs, two more port pins, and you turn this segment on first and control what character you want to see. And then turn this one off, then turn this one on. That sounds straightforward. All right, so how quickly do you have to do this? Let me go back to the PCB. Well, like many cameras, they've got a fast scan rate. They will generally see LEDs flashing on and off. However, this camera has got a super fast scan rate so I made this even faster, so this camera doesn't pick it up. Or at least I can't see the scanning on this LCD display on this camera. Incidentally, it's not my Sony camera, I'm trying my Panasonic. I'll show this part of the project, the rotary switch, on another video. This whole project is a prototype up-down counter for someone. So if I turn this up, it's only counting up in 10 seconds. So there's seconds and minutes. If I hit this button, P for pause. So if I hit the pause, so eight minutes 20, if I want to reset it, hold the switch for a second, it's reset. Now if I don't turn this rotary encoder, it can only count up. So just hit the start and pause button, It just counts up. Now this segment isn't as bright as this segment. It's an older segment and just isn't as bright as this one. As I say, I'll discuss this particular rotary encoder in another video and how you should choose one. I'll turn this up and I can turn it down. So that's the project. This segment, this one here, is being turned on for 200 microseconds. Then it turns off, then this one turns on for 200 microseconds, then off, then this one, then this one. Let me slow this down. I will now change this to 500 microseconds. There we are. Now, I cannot see the flashing to my naked eye, 
but this display on this fast camera can. So it would be interesting to see what the video looks like. Now let me slow it down more. This is 1000 microseconds. There we go. I can now see this flashing with my eye. So this is on for a thousand microseconds, then this one, then this one, then this one. And I can see that flashing quickly. And this camera, it looks like it's slow motion. Staying on and off for one thousandth of a second and my eyes can pick this up and this camera certainly can. There we are, I've now increased each delay to 65,000 microseconds. So that's 0.065 seconds or 65 milliseconds. It's now obvious which way these segments are being displayed. So that's just 65 milliseconds per digit. Only 65 milliseconds. So that should give you an idea how fast you need to turn your segments on and off so you don't see it flashing. So this is what's called multiplexing. So we've got eight pins controlling 16 digits, two seven segment displays plus two decimal points. Then I've got another eight pins controlling this side. That's multiplexing. You control one quickly, then the next, then the next, then the next. So hopefully you've learned something about switching dual seven segment displays. Thanks for watching.